Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The seventh pearl or the seventh example that the author comes with is that this legislation it has made permissible many things from buying and selling transactions, uh, renting, and all of these different types of transactions between all types of people and all types of religion. And this is because the religion knows that through this it fulfills the needs and the necessities of the society. So with this, the religion allows the Muslims to enjoy their religion and also benefit with that, that, uh, with that which is good for themselves and for their religion. And for this reason, the religion has come with certain conditions when it comes to buying and selling. From them is that both parties have to be pleased. If one of them are not pleased, then the transaction will not go through. Also, there has to be knowledge, knowledge of what you are buying and how much you are buying for and how much um, of the product will be given. If there is any sort of ignorance or ambigu ambiguity regarding these items, then the transaction would not be uh, uh, will not be correct, and it would not go through. So if for somebody if somebody was to say I will buy this for approximately ten pounds, then that will not count. We need an exact number, and all of this is for the betterment and for the the the, the benefit of the people. And anybody who ponders over this, they will know that this religion has come to benefit the people in all aspects of their life.